there's a sense of stillness when we're working with spirit and we are working with spirit tonight and within a few minutes we're going to have three incredible mediums coming in John Healy who has been a great friend, friend and colleague of mine for many years a very good psychic medium an awful lot of work on television in paranormal investigations and also a lot of natural healing ability working with different manifestation techniques in fact, a very interesting person very skilled in many different areas he's coming forward with a colleague of his Aldo Rafa and we like to call him the younger well he's not the baby anymore the, he used to be the baby of the psychic world but he's he's come to it with a lot of spiritual gifts from a very young age and worked professionally and learned and expanded his skills in many different areas and I've worked with him now for a couple of years an incredible talent, very gifted, very pure, healing, lovely, psychic medium energy. And we've also brought forward another lady all the way from Portsmouth. Is it Portsmouth? Southampton? Yes. <laughs> I'm a Londoner, it's down there somewhere, I apologise. Hot London, from Hot London. <laughs> and she's coming forward, and again, somebody who travels all around the country serving people on platform, giving messages for spirit and, and with this incredible energy. We've spoken many times on the phone, just met for the first time this evening and I absolutely love her. Her energy is so vibrant and so healing in its natural way as all of our mediums are really. There's a wonderful healing energy with this. And they're coming forward to work together and bring you messages from spirit. And I'd like to welcome them, Terry Strohmeyer, Aldo Rafa and John Healy. Thank you for not just for coming, but for what you've done in, 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 over the last 20 minutes. You, you, you've raised the energy. There's more power in the room. Uh, I, I, I think most of you, anyway, understand that, but we depend upon it. So thank you. A very, very sincere thanks to all of you for, you know, for your aliveness. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, it's it's got to be good for you. It says doctor on it. <laughs> can I can I just uh, just ask first of all, is there anyone here who has never been to an event of this sort, this kind before? Can I just have a wow wowzer? Um, um, just have that show of hands again. Right, sir, you've never been to an event like this before, ever. Have you seen the film The Exorcist? <laughs> <laughs> has, has anyone who's never been before seen the film The Exorcist? Anyone who's never been before seen the film The Exorcist? Just put your hands up. You've not seen the, the Exorcist? You've seen The Exorcist? Yeah, okay, okay. You know the bit in the film where the girl's head spins around? <laughs> yeah? yeah? You know that, yeah? Right, okay, okay. Now, if that happens, <laughs> what you do, what... Oh, yeah, you, you go and see your doctor. Okay. Thank you. Actually, actually, if you don't mind, can I work with you first of all? Because when I'm, um, I'm linking um, in, in that brief introduction to you, one of the things that I can hear in the back of my head is another language. So there should be a link to, you, you, know, you know, another part. You see, I've got a coarse English ear, which is very, very bad for, you know, you know, dia you know, for dialogues and, you know, languages and that sort of thing. The English are terrible. But there would be a link elsewhere out, out of the UK, wouldn't there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and also what there, what there would be with you um, uh, as well, there would be the anniversary of a passing that falls round about now. The anniversary of a passing in the family that falls round about now. And when I say round about now, you know, let's go a week um, retrograde into last week. Let's go a week forward. Just, you know, time 
uh, in the spirit world, it's very, very elastic. But round about now, there would be the, the anniversary of a passing. Can you take that? But does that feel about right? Maybe, yeah, because yeah, it's good. And it's to do with a female. Okay? So I, I have the anniversary of, uh, of uh, a female who is standing behind you um, now uh, with, you know, you know, with you know, lovely, you know, what looks like cascading hair, and I can see the family resemblance to you. Okay. And it's, it's kind of interesting because. My first reaction is to say, well, I've got a link to a grandmother here, but I think there's an aunt on mum's side as well, isn't there? Um, still alive. Okay. If, if that's the link, to, if the aunt is still on mum's side, then this is, this is a, a, a grandmother you know, of, of, of that, that generation. So the, 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 I, then I will take it there isn't an aunt on dad's side. They're not here anymore. You, you're right. So, mum's side of the family is the side of the family um, that you're more clear about. Yeah. So we will say that, that, that this, that, you know, this woman whose hair is a much lighter shade uh, than your own. Okay. Uh, uh, can you take them? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Because it's. But, but you can you take the the you know, the, the sw and there was a slightly. Um, you're bringing out the Vidal Sassoon in me here, but your hair is beautifully <laughs> conditioned, but hers doesn't look that way. Can you take that? Um, it's not that way. No, hers, hers, much more, much more frizzy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you understand that? Because yeah. that's the appearance of this woman. And there is also, there is also a body mass difference between the, between the two of you. She seems to me to, you know, have more... There's more of her. There's more yeah. of her. Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So th this this woman is stood, um, you, you know, almost like you know you know directly behind you. Okay. Now I think from what uh, from what she's saying to me, because what this is the, this is the point where I have to listen extremely attentively to to what she's saying, and I'm going to repeat what she's saying. I'm asking, obviously, telepathically, mentally, I'm asking her to repeat it. So can I say, this won't mean anything to me. How many, how many of the books have you read? How many of the books have you read? How much reading or absorbing of information done or left undone is there? There needs to be more. There needs to be more. Okay, because that's, that's what I... But have you moved the bookcase... There's been a lot of moving of books. You see, that's what I can hear. You see, this is the point where I, I have to listen in telepathically to what she's saying. And I have to have the, the, the courage to, understand, to accept that it won't mean anything to me at all. But I think there is, if I just continue to listen to what she's saying, there is a bookshelf at the moment where there are no books on it whatsoever. Is that right? They've been removed, or it's where they're going. They've been removed from one hand and brought to another. Thank you. Right. Okay. Thank you. That's what I, I. I have to be faithful. There has to be fidelity to uh, to you know to what she to what she's saying. Now, and you might say, well, what's the point of that? What's the point? Where is she going? Where you know where where is she um, uh, leading with that? And she you know she's she communicates the idea that. Sometimes you, you, you know, you've had a, and obviously I want to be respectful of boundaries, yeah, respectful of boundaries, but she says it's kind of like you, um, you've got through on just enough for it to be not enough. Do you understand that? Obviously I'm talking, you know, talking about money. money. Got through with just enough for it to be kind of like not enough. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. Now that's... That expression, just enough for it not to be not enough, is not hers, but it's the nearest equivalent to, to what is um, you know, being communicated, communicated to me. Because, and here's the point, here's the message. We've got the communicator, we've got the insight into um, uh, you know, you know, what's happening uh, to you, but here's the message. Because she going progressive, looking into the future. She is very, very concerned of you know, 
it, her concern for you is that you are comfortable financially, uh, materially, there we go, there we go. Uh, uh, to remember, I'm not on TV at the moment. Couldn't do any of this. Um, couldn't even mention the word. Um, but, you know, she, her concern is that you are comfortable materially for some considerable time to, to come. Can you relate to that? Yeah. Okay. Can, was that a yes? Yeah. Yes, thank you. It's your concern. It's also her concern. Can you actually take two brothers that she's referring to? Two brothers that she's referring to. Yeah, okay, because they're, they're, they're here too, okay? Because I can feel her uh, lovely... Ooh, I just heard something. Um, I just heard something. Um, what, uh, can, give me another word, give me another, give me another word, give me another word. Um, Was there a time when... I, I'm, look, I'm, this is English vernacular, okay? Was there a time when you couldn't be asked? When I mean, you just couldn't be bothered? Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> when was that? Was that about five years ago? Oh, no, no, don't worry about that. That would be Terry's guide, Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that at all. Don't worry about it at all. Uh, thank you. <laughs> don't worry about that at all. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, you, you know, because, you know, it's Terry's guide, always doing it, never sit up. Can I, can I thank you for the opportunity of, of working with you? I'm very, very, as I leave you to hand over to Aldo, I'm very, very interested in the older property that she is talking to me about. Can you place an older property? And it's a house, not an apartment. Can you place the older property that she's talking about? You'd still, so it's, it's, was it an older property? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because that's what she's, talk, she's talking to me. Y you know, if ever there were a place of home sweet home, I don't think the electricity is that good, is it? <coughs> you watch. <laughs> My name's Aldo. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that, I'm a clairsentient, claircognitive medium. So what I'm going to be doing is working with deep feelings, um, deep knowings. Um, and yeah, I'm going to sort of see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to see how this sort of goes once I hold this mic up. Uh, <laughs> and really get a feel for where we're going today. Because I was really drawn to this side of the room when, when the lovely John was working. Obviously, no heads were turning, thank goodness. But I, <laughs> I was just really drawn to this um, side of the room. And I felt like I had a dad with me. And he was going, my beautiful daughter. And I don't know why I'm really drawn. I don't know, to, to like a Loretta or like a Laurie or... I don't know. Would anyone relate to that name? Like a... Lo Lorraine, Loretta... Right. Laurie. Laurie. Right. Okay. There's no dad in spirit, though. No. This man is like a dad, though, or would have been like a father figure. Um, in in a in a way, what I'm being what I was being described as, it's like it's like he would have you would have been like a daughter to to him, and I feel that this would have been quite tied into mum's side of the family. Does that make sense? I don't know why I keep being shown a car as well. I don't know if this guy had a love of cars or a need for sort of speed, but they keep, I keep hearing the revving of an engine. Okay. Right. Mum's, I say it's a gentle on mum's side. Feels, I mean, as I said, very fatherly. Would have given you words of wisdom, words of encouragement, you know? Kind of reminds me of my own granddad, who I looked at as he's got that kind of really lovable energy. But he sort of, I don't know why, I keep hearing revving of engine, and I don't know if this maybe ties into um, the, not mechanic, uh, is there somebody who works in mechanics or has connections with mechanics? <coughs> Right. 
I feel like this message is for your father, actually, to give to him. I don't know why. He has to watch himself because there's something with him that's not taking enough care. I just keep seeing like a banana peel. Does that make sense? It's yeah. like, go, go, go. Is it him then that's full steam ahead, perhaps? Maybe. Mm. They, were, they were very close. Mm. He's sending his love around. Um, I also have the name Richard as well, or our initial. I think this is the one who has to watch himself. This, 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 this gentleman in spirit is so fatherly, so protective, so warm, and actually quite spiritual, I feel. This, this is somebody who would be like, yeah, I believe in this stuff, you know? He's quite drawn to this work. And I see he would have had very, um, it's like good, uh, it's like, uh, I keep seeing earth, it's like that grounding, sort of earthy nature in his quality. Wouldn't surprise me if he was an earth sign, actually, or, you know, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, that kind of energy. But September's being highlighted as well. The August into September time is being highlighted as quite relevant. Does that time relate to this guy? I, I'm very bad with dates, okay. but we spent a lot of time in my childhood eating potatoes on that garden, so the Late to, right. Maybe like late summer time, perhaps connected to it. He's giving you that memory link, very much so. And I feel with you, there's this, this year is actually magnificent for you, but also very disorientating because you don't know what, what's what. And everything's been going wrong electronic wise as well, I feel. Does that make sense? Like, you know? But I feel like you're reaching a new level energetically. And actually, when I say that, I felt really light. So it's a really powerful time for you. Um, and there's two people connected to you as well, I feel. Is this love wise? Wait a second. I don't know why I keep being shown two. Uh, oh, wait a sec. There's like two. It's like, I feel like this is a year where you're having to make a lot of decisions. You might be at a bit of a crossroads where work and career are concerned. It, yeah. work, and, and actually, that has some connection to love links too. Does that make sense? Or oh, no, it might. Okay. I don't know why I feel decisions in all of these areas is quite relevant. Um, but the main message is to look after you and for the, for the family as well to look. I feel like this is a year where more family are coming together. It's like, because for a long time it's been quite distant. Everyone's been not communicating. I actually want to say to you there's a feeling as well that there was some sort of misunderstanding as well in the family, which made people not talk to, to a certain somebody for quite a long time. But I feel this year's clearing that situation. Does that make yeah, sense? That makes much, much sense, yeah. Mm, but I keep showing that earthy, you know, that potato, it's lovely. But it's very relevant, I feel, for this time. Nurture, nurturing is very important. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Oh, it's always so nerve-wracking to go when you give your first sort of message. Uh, but I have to say... Uh, <laughs> it's been done. I'm going to pass over to the lovely Terry. A mother who passed with cancerous conditions. I want to go around this area here. Who can understand a mum passing with cancer? Is that this like you? Bless you. Can I, can I talk to you? I want to say, been tough, difficult times, hasn't there? And also want to say with your mum, you were desperately wanting a message from her today, weren't you? She's got such a lovely. She's got actually. She's got quite a young-looking face. Your mum, hasn't she? Um, she's sort of taking off and passing off almost like your sister, older sister, all right? And she's just saying, I know it's tough, I know it's been difficult, but I'm still here, all right? Lots of lovely photographs as well in the family. You, there's a loads of photographs. It's like almost that somebody enjoys taking photographs and puts them all together because they're showing me this beautiful collage of photographs. Now, has there also been a house move as well? Somebody moving house or thinking about moving house? Because it's, it, it's taken a lot longer than you've anticipated, hasn't it? It's been a total nightmare, she's telling me, hasn't it? So she's saying to me, things are starting to fall into place for you, all right, about time. And so therefore, they can, she can definitely, definitely see a move for you. So just take that, okay, as red. She must have liked the colour red. She liked bright colours, didn't she? She's just telling me. She loved flowers, too. She's showing me sweet peas. She's showing me freesias as well, which she really liked. And she liked lovely, light fragrances, too. So I'm seeing um, a lovely, fresh-smelling um, 
perfumes too, and you like that too. She also loves uh, daffodils, she's showing me. So March is also significant. That's a very poignant time, she's just telling me. Christmas is hard for the family without her because she was the homemaker, your mum, wasn't she? Always there, always making sure that everyone, everything was right, she's just telling me. She had, she, you've obviously got some cards of hers too because she's showing me her handwriting, which you still have. Now, isn't there also a lock of hair that's being kept as well? Not necessarily hers, but she's talking to me of a lock of hair that has been kept. Do you, you understand that? And also she's showing me her rings as well, because you've got her ring. So you're not wearing it, though, are you? Yeah, because I, just, I, I knew you were not wearing her ring, but she just said, not that you have to, but she's just telling me very much of that. She had a lovely <laughs> smile. And she was the type of lady that should look you straight in the eye too. And she would know exactly what was going on. Who played the piano as well? Because I'm hearing, hearing somebody playing the... Sorry? You, oh, OK. But you, ha you haven't continued that. You gave it up. And uh, it's something you've been talking about recently. It's been a recent conversation about that. So she's just been listening in. She's been listening in to that. <laughs> you understand that, don't you? And also, she's talking about a television as well. So there's been, I don't know, have you recently been buying a television or something about a television, she's saying? Has there been something wrong with the television or the settings of the television? Because some, you've messed the settings up, haven't you? And you've been cursing at it. I know, and you've been cursing at it because if somebody keeps flicking the television happy, haven't they? And whilst they're flicking it, they don't know which button they're pressing and they keep pressing it and then setting it without realising it. So your mum has been absolutely in raptures of laughter whilst this has been going on. And that's what she's saying. I've been so close, I know what's going on around you. All right, I know. So she's just saying, I know at times you've been to bed and you've just cried because you miss her, you miss the conversations, because she was somebody that would always tell you the truth, wouldn't she? She would tell you exactly how it is. And life's getting better, all right? Life's getting better. And stop looking at the past, all right? Because I know at times you just wish you could talk to her about emotions of the heart. And so she's just saying, things are getting better, all right? And you will have all your dreams and your aspirations. Just keep believing in them. Now you also must believe in the angels too, and also you like crystals, she's telling me too, because I know you, you either like that type of music, and, um, and also there's some drum music that you've either been listening to as well. So realise that the reason why you've been changing the music is because it's the rhythm that is changing within you, the vibrational rate of you is changing, it's expanding, it's fastening. So everything that's gone on in your life has happened for a reason, and when you look back, and you see where you are, you've made marked improvement and big strides in your life. So your mum is saying, why don't you see that? Why can't you see that beauty and how you have moved forward? And therefore believe that what is coming also in your life is also <coughs> full of beauty. Because at times you look beautiful, but you d sometimes you're just an actress and your friends know that, don't you? Because at times everybody else around you is laughing and actually you don't feel that in your own heart, if they only knew. And she's saying, darling, I just want you to be happy. And I'm promising you that is happening on every level, all right? I feel like I want to cry with you <laughs> because of it. And she, your grandmother also used to be handbag brigade and lots of tissue. She's getting a tissue now and she's giving that to you also. She also had lots of primroses in her garden as well because she showed me all these marvellous primroses and also there must have been a glorious wood that you would have gone through as well because she's also showing me these lovely bluebells and when you're a little girl, you, it was the magic of it all and you believe in the magic, so believe in the magic of life, alright. Now do you also carry um, on you um, like a... Um, save some money, just set up a, your fiver or something. Which you, because she's just she's laughing at you. She's saying that, you know, that's her safety. She always has this money that's there, just in case of an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> always. And I know the music. You love music too. But she's saying, goodness me, she gets a piece of music and she plays it over and over and over again. And she's saying, and you've recently been doing that. And it's so loud. And she sings in the shower too. <laughs> there is no secrets. Well, actually, I'm not telling her that. Because she's just telling me you've been buying some clothes, undergarments, but I'm not telling you what. <laughs> date or something or something coming up. So she's smiling at you there. She's
she's smiling because she's just telling you you've got a great figure. Believe in it, all right? Believe in it. And you must also like shoes too because she's telling me I'm just seeing your wardrobe. There's shoes in there which you don't even wear, do they? You do you? And you buy a pair of shoes and they don't always fit you either. And you've got a pair of shoes in there your mum's telling me, and she's just absolutely laughing because there's all of these shoes that are in there and there's some of them that would absolutely kill your feet and give you blisters but you'd go through that pain just to look good she's telling you <laughs> she's there she loves you very very much there's also a budgie that's flying in as well so your grandmother must have had a budgie when you were younger because i'm seeing this budgie flying around so take her love she is there she is special she loves you and things are getting better bless you Isn't she good? Oh, yeah. that's, that's the way it should be done. It's a very exciting time because it marks the beginning of a new era. Both myself, John and Oracle Television are coming together to bring you magical evenings with top healers, spiritualists and psychic mediums, all here to inspire you. I'm very pleased to be part of one of Oracle TV's first uh, events. This is new, um, quite revolutionary and really, really dynamic. What I love about mediumship evenings is the energy the vibrancy and the ability for most people to get profound messages and insights and to be really touched by spirit.